Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So the day that I'm filming this is Wednesday. On Wednesdays, my husband and I go on a sushi date night. So I wanted to sit down and get ready for that. I've been prioritizing a lot of my high-end makeup because of the upcoming sales. I kind of just wanted to sit down, get ready, use some of the other new products that I have that I've been wanting to test that have been put on the back burner. The majority of the products in today's videos are gonna be affordable. I do have a couple high-end items, but I just wanna sit down, relax, and enjoy some makeup. So I'm really excited because today's video is actually sponsored by e.l.f. Cosmetics. If you don't know what e.l.f. is, did you know e.l.f. stands for Eyes, Lips, Face? I remember back in the day when their website was eyeslipsface.com. I've been wanting to try some new products from them, so I went to Ulta, I picked up a bunch of stuff for today's sponsorship, so I'm really excited. We're just gonna get into it. I've been seeing e.l.f. a lot on TikTok, so I decided there was some stuff that I wanted to try out. So we're starting off with the Luminous Putty Pro primer. So I have the original one from e.l.f. which is like the universal one but this one is the luminous one and you guys know I have dry skin so I wanted to give this one a try. So here's what it looks like and let's spread it out. I like to make sure I stay up to date with e.l.f. products just because I feel like they do such a good job of being more affordable alternatives for a lot of the high-end makeup that I typically talk about. So I do make an effort every now and then to make a big order off the website or go to Ulta to pick up a lot of stuff just because they come out with some great alternatives and I know not all of my audience is only focused on high-end makeup. You watch me because I talk about high-end makeup but I also want to give alternatives that are a little bit more affordable so that's why I try to keep on top of my e.l.f. stuff. Their products are all 100% vegan, cruelty-free and by the way this made my makeup look really good but I just really like featuring e.l.f. as alternatives because they're vegan, cruelty-free and very affordable so it's very accessible to a lot of you guys. Let's move on to the e.l.f camo cc cream this is in the shade light 210 n i bought this when it first came out and i've really been enjoying it it's just a really great everyday foundation i think my favorite thing about this is what you get for the price because every time i wear this i feel like my skin just looks really nice and natural this gives you good coverage and a really natural finish and you can build the coverage up to a pretty full coverage i found normally i like to stick with the more natural medium coverage that it gives me just the light layer because i feel like that's how it looks the most skin like and I've been seeing this a lot on TikTok which is why I really wanted to pull it out for today's video. It just inspired me to grab this guy back out. It also has all of those good ingredients that all of the higher end CC creams have like peptides, diaminocides, hyaluronic acid, a favorite of my dry skin. I'm gonna put just a little bit on my neck over here and with summer coming up I've been forgetting to put my sunscreen on which makes me feel horrible so I'm trying to reach for ones that have sunscreen more now that the sun is coming out more. So at least I know this has SPF 30, so I always feel a little bit better when I forget my sunscreen that I at least have a little bit of extra protection. And I see, doesn't my skin just look good and healthy? They really killed it with this launch. I feel like it was one of their best launches that they've had lately. There's 20 shades. It's a really good formula and you really cannot beat the price for this. So oh, you know what? They actually sent me in a PR package, this foundation brush, and I forgot to use it. We'll use it for the concealer. Like I said, I just can't get over how amazing some of the e.l.f. products are priced and how when I wear their products, I look good, I feel good for a lot less than I normally spend on makeup. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to concealer. So I'm just using the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer. This is available at Ulta. I've just been testing it out to see if I like it better than the original, and I definitely do. Now, it doesn't have complete similar qualities. Let me use the e.l.f. complexion brush. For this. I think the smaller side oh is perfect for right in here. Never forget when you're concealing to blend your concealer in the inside nose area right here because that's what low-key makes you look the most tired and you often forget this area. So this little brush is really nice. I think this might be too big. I love e.l.f. brushes. I know I use a lot of higher end brushes typically but I had my e.l.f. brush days back when I was you know in middle high school when I couldn't afford natural hair brushes and all the brushes that I'm blessed enough to use today and I still have some elf brushes that are staples in my collection. Anyways, this brush did a really nice job. I'm a fan of this brush for concealer. Not a big foundation brush person but super good. Let's do eyebrows next. I picked up at Ulta a couple of new elf eyebrow products to try. They have a eyebrow pencil. It's like their $3 one. It's really, really affordable. That's become a staple in my routine so I wanted to try another one. So I saw they had the ultra precise brow pencil. I got mine in the shade 
shade neutral brown. So I always thought that the other one was a bit thick and I saw they had this precise one. So I thought I would give it a try because this style is a little bit more my speed. And by the way, all of the products that I'm using are linked down below in the description box in the order that I use them so you can easily shop through them. This is really nice. I just spent a lot of money on <laughs> the Charlotte Tilbury whole brow system and I really liked it but dang. And I pick up some of my favorite affordable brow pencils and I'm like why did I do that? I really like this one. It's like waxy, it's not too creamy, deposits a good amount of color. You no, know, this is why e.l.f. is doing so well. They come out with really trendy products. They follow the trends. Quality is just so good for what you pay. One more eyebrow product to try that I picked out. This is the Wow Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel in the shade Neutral Brown as well. Now the vibe I'm getting from Neutral Brown, it's a bit darker than what I prefer. And really it's like the perfect color for my hair color, but I just, I don't know. I've always just preferred lighter colored brow stuff for myself. I made a mess. This is okay. I, think I prefer my brow gels to have a little bit more hold. I like that it doesn't deposit too much color. You know how sometimes tinted brow gels, they give you too much color and your brows lose their shape because you don't have much precision with a product like that? It still allowed me to keep the precision on my brows, but it doesn't have the strongest hold, if that makes sense. You know, why am I so far away? I'm sorry it took me so long to realize that. I always forget when I'm getting ready. Now you guys can see how good my skin looks though. <laughs> yeah, that tinted brow gel did not give me much hold. See how I'm just easily <laughs> brushing my brows out. Anyways, that's okay. Let's move on. Okay. I picked up lots of cream products to try because cream products are trending. So I wanted to find... So I wanted to see if I could find some good dupes later on. So I saw Juicy Jazz using this. This is the cream contour palette and let's just try it out. I'm gonna actually try it with the complexion brush. So we'll start off with the lightest shade. Well, I like that it's not like getting stuck. It's like blending out pretty nicely. This brush is really good for cream and liquid products. I don't know, like I said, how I'd feel about it for foundation because I'm really picky, but it's doing really nice with this stuff. Wow, I'm impressed. Normally I find affordable cream products to not really be blendable, <laughs> but this is doing such a good job. Nobody talks about this. Okay, let's go a little bit deeper just for some depth underneath the cheekbone. This is about to get all over my mask, isn't it? I like that. Okay, so I'll have to see how this wears, but so far this gets a thumbs up. Really good for a cream product. Picked up two cream blushes to play with. So I picked up another color of the putty blush. I don't know why, this is really dark. I don't think I'm gonna like it. Looking at the palette that I'm using today, we're going to use the Multi Stick. Never tried this formula from e.l.f. before and I've been eyeing it, so I figured why not. So this is the shade Dazzling Peony. It's a little bit of pigment. Creamier than I thought it would be. Let's try it out. Oh, that's nice. I've got to admit, I was doubtful about how these cream products would work because I'm so picky with them. I hope it lasts a long time. So let's start with powder now, since I am wearing a mask. I got this in a PR package. This is from the brand Wonder 2, and it is a powder. It's a tinted powder. It's supposed to be a foundation powder but I want to set with it to try it out. So here's what the packaging looks like. Looks like it might be a little bit dark for me. This is the shade light to medium. We're still gonna use it anyways, whatever. This is made in Italy, by the way, which is awesome. I don't know much about this brand, but I like things made in Italy. I'm gonna set down here and then whatever's left, bring it up because I think it's a bit deep. So I don't want too much of the color to deposit. Ooh, but that's really blurring on the skin. Wow. I think they sell this brand at like CVS. <laughs> but, oh wow. I like this. This is really nice. A product that I've been playing with recently, I'm gonna use it to set the color products in my face, is this Physician's Formula All-Star Face Palette. These are always such a good deal and I'm always so attracted to them. So we're gonna start off with the bronzer up here. I'm just gonna set the cream bronzer since I'm wearing a mask. Like when we no longer have to wear masks and it's safe not to wear masks, I'm gonna go all out with the creams, but creams and masks kind of freak me out, honestly. <laughs> 
so I have to set and then let's use this pretty color right here now I like this palette but it's not my favorite palette from physicians formula the Whaley one was just so good this one's okay but for me it's more about the value of this it's just so good because physicians formula can get quite pricey for an affordable brand so I like to buy these because the value is really nice but it did a good job it looks nice we're just gonna grab a highlight from here as well because I don't think I have one no hmm. this one is like really really shiny whatever here we go oh it's an overspray okay why did I not know that let me clean this off this is much more uh my taste now Ooh, that's pretty okay I was scared to use this at first because of that overspray why did they do that because this is so much more appealing to me wow that's really pretty okay awesome let's keep it moving but I really like that my complexion right now it's looking so good. I'm impressed. Everything from the foundation, the concealer, the cream products, the setting powder, everything is just working for me today. I don't want to speak too soon though. We have the eyes. So I picked up this palette. I've been wanting to try it so badly. I had FOMO because I wasn't going to pick it up. This is the Tarte, I don't even know what it's, Tartlet Juicy palette. I just, I didn't want this at first. I'm not into Tarte like that, but I heard so many good things about this palette and it is a beautiful color story. Look at this. I love how the tones are arranged here. I love that you have neutral tones, pinky tones. I'm really excited to play with this today. I'm gonna put a little bit of this CC cream on my eyelids, and we're gonna use this as an eyeshadow base today. So I'm too lazy to pull out my eye primer. Let's see, do I wanna go more pinky or more neutral today? I guess more pinky, because I have this beautiful cheek on. So let's start off with Blossom. I'm just gonna press that into the crease. We're going very simple with the makeup today, so don't expect anything fancy since I am leaving my house after this. Okay, let's add a little bit more depth with Petal. The mirror in this palette is not good, by the way. It's making me look like I'm in a fun house. The shadows themselves, they aren't too loosely packed, which I like. I'm not a big expert on Tarte's formula, by the way, but I mean, I'm using pretty easy colors to formulate, but they, they look nice. I don't, I don't know what else to say. They look pretty. I feel like this palette's lacking a little bit of depth. Like, I need this shade a little bit deeper. I guess I'll go into the brown, but I feel like I could use something a little bit deeper, but that's okay. Just doing a fresh pink eye. I'm like starting to round up my favorite spring palettes for a spring palettes video. And I think this might be one of them as long as the formula continues to work as it's working. I'm going in with a little bit more petal. We're just going to run this along the lower lash line. I didn't clean my brush off, so there's still a little bit of like brown mixed into it. And I want to bring more pink back, so we're going to go back into Blossom and just kind of blend everything out once more. Everything's blending really nice. Okay, let's go into Orchid. It's not the creamiest feeling. What about Dream Chaser? This one feels more creamy. Ooh, I don't know. Okay, I guess we'll go in with the darker shade. Right out here. And the lighter shade right here. I'm not mad at it. Looks good. Now we're gonna go into Paradise. I'm going to put it almost in my inner corner, just like right here. Just to brighten it up and then I'm gonna go into Water Lily, which is the brightest. You'll see I just used corner of my brush to pop this one in the inner corner. And I do want a little bit more depth down here. So we're gonna go into Euphoric. I love the way this palette smells. It has that vanilla scent that I know all of the Tarte palettes have. Oof, it's good. And I'm putting this close to the lash line just because I like the definition. Listen, so I'm not completely wowed by this palette. I don't have anything bad to say, but I don't have much else to say. It, it's got... It it's a good palette. I wasn't in love with the shimmers. I think the mattes blended out very nicely. I'm gonna have to continue playing with this more because I didn't use that many colors today, but I don't know. I heard so many good reviews. I thought it was gonna be amazing. It didn't knock my socks off. It's really pretty. Don't get me wrong. And the, the colors worked just fine. The looks really pretty. That's why I don't have anything bad to say, but when you're an eyeshadow snob like me, it's hard to impress me. That's what it is. You'll like it. I'm just a snob. <laughs> it's good. Okay, let's go to eyeliner now. Going back into Wonder 2, they sent me a Superstay eyeliner. I didn't have very many new eyeliners to choose from, so 
I saw this guy sitting in my drawer asking to be played lit with. So let's do it. Ooh, really creamy. I've been playing with the Gucci eye pencil recently and that one is not creamy at all. So this is a nice change. Hold on, I can't talk though. I was having a good time with this pencil and ended up putting on way more than I thought I would and just going fully black eyeliner everywhere. But it's so creamy, I really like it. Um, so far, I'm gonna have to see, obviously with wear time, that's where the true test comes from. But this is made in Germany. And Germany makes the best lip liners and eyeliners. Typical trend that I've noticed. So I have high hopes about this. Mm, here's something that I've heard a lot about that's really good. So I wanted to try it out from e.l.f. This is the Lash It Loud Mascara. I believe it's fairly new from them. Anyhow, I don't want to be too judgmental at first because one, I have the worst lashes known to man. And two, usually I don't like mascaras on the first try anyways. But I don't know. This kind of wand isn't normally my cup of tea. But let's just do it. First coat's okay. I'm gonna give it some time to dry and then I'm gonna put a second coat on. I might put falsies on. I'll update you, give me one second. <laughs> I got a little bit of help from some Ardell's. They are the Ardell 424, very, very natural. You can see my lower lash line, I'm actually not mad at the mascara. Again, I still probably wanna play with it some more, but I can see why people are liking it, especially if you actually have lashes. Unlike me, I can see it being pretty good. We're gonna finish off with lips. I'm teeter-tottering between a few items. I heard the e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine was good, so I chose the shade Joyful to pick up. I'm gonna swatch it. Let me get, let me get the vibe here. Look, it has like a little heart. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a vibe, like nothing. Mmm, it feels like watermelons. You know, if I'm wearing a mask and eating dinner, I could wear this tonight, but I wanna, I wanna take a photo. So I've been wanting to try this lipstick from Wonder Beauty or Wonder 2, whatever it is. This is the must have matte in the shade Needed Nude. I don't know where this brand has been all my life, but it's made in France, this lipstick. Ooh, that looks good. Let me get a lip liner. I thought this was Pillow Talk. It's not, it's Iconic Nude, but that's fine. Doesn't really matter. I was going for Pillow Talk, but this is like the perfect shade for this look. Did I tell you the name, Needed Nude? This is a nice lipstick, really smooth. Mm. Mm. Hey, I mean, this is the look for my date night. I'm gonna zoom out and get myself together and then finish off this video. Here is the final look, just a blushing pink look. I really love everything that I tried today. The base is probably my favorite part, the, with the CC cream, the luminous primer, the concealer, and then a surprise from those cream products and the powder, like the base looks really flawless. The eyeshadow, I like, I don't love it though but I want to continue playing with it. It created a really pretty look. Was impressed with the eyeliner. The mascara's not bad. Did I get a lipstick on my teeth? Oh no, like the lipstick. So overall, oh, eyebrows was good too. Overall, a pretty solid testing experience. You know, sometimes they can go south really fast. Today, everything was pretty good. I really enjoyed the look. Look at this Physicians Formula highlight. Wow. Highly recommend that, that's also really good. And for the most part, pretty affordable. I always feel good when I find some really nice, affordable products for you guys. So again, thank you so much to e.l.f. Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. Everything that I used will be linked down below for your shopping pleasure. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.